Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gift of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkness counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins loins like a man. I will question you and you shall declare me. Where were you when I, when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you had understanding, who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy. Can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that flood waters may cover you? Can you send forth lightning so that they may go and, and say to you, here we are? Who has put wisdom in the inward parts or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds? Or who can tilt the water skin of the heavens? And when the dust runs into a mass and the clods cling together, can you hunt the prey for the lion or satisfy the appetite of the young lions when they crouch in their dens or lie wait in their covert? Who provides for the raven its prey? 
when the young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my afflictions and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and, and none will be punished who trust in him. A reading of a letter to the Hebrews. The former priests were many in number because they were prevented by death from continuing in office. But Jesus holds his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able for all time to save those who approach God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. For it was fitting that he or that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins, and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests those who are subject to weakness. But the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then he sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling to you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. To you, Lord Christ. Uh, good morning, everyone. As you know, over the past weeks, uh, we have had members of the congregation step forward to talk about their um, thoughts and feelings of experiences of the community of St. Gabriel, and also to talk about how stewardship has manifested itself in their lives and how um, they feel about that. So this morning we have our uh, third speaker, uh, Linda Utter. She is with us live, but she recorded her message. So I'm going to ask Tamara now if she will play that for us. Hello, dear friends of St. Gabriel. I speak to you as the season is changing and the red, orange, and yellow colors become more vibrant. Across the country, Episcopal churches are preparing for the annual stewardship campaign, and St. Gabriel is no different. A team of folks have been hard at work since early August, praying and planning for this time when all of us will be invited to make a commitment to the work of this church. This pledge comes in at least three ways, time, talent, and treasure. We ask for your help in continuing the current and perhaps in starting new ministries for the congregation and the community around us. Calling a new rector requires monetary resources over and above our normal operating budget. You will be hearing from members of the parish as they share their stories of gratitude and commitment to God and to this congregation. You will receive a letter from the interim rector along with a pledge card. It will take all of us giving what we can and then prayerfully giving a bit more if possible in time, talent, and especially treasure to meet the needs of the year to come. The stewardship team chose this following scripture as their theme. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. It comes from the prophet Jeremiah. God has a plan for this congregation. There is a future with hope. We pray that you will want to share in this future. Please return your pledge card as soon as possible. And God bless you for the gifts you are and will be giving into the future. Amen. Fellow parishioners, friends, and clergy, I'm Linda Utter, and my husband Mike and I have been members of St. Gabriel since 1990, when services were being held at the St. Vincent's Health and Lifestyle Center on the corner of Northwest 185th and Cornell. We attend the 10 a.m. service. I have served on altar guild, 
the Bishop's Advisory Committee, the Coffee Hour team, as a lector, and as a Eucharistic minister. When Ken and Linda asked me to speak about stewardship and what it means to me to be a part of the St. Gabriel, Gabriel community, I was honored. My first instinct, however, was to decline. I spoke during the stewardship campaign in 2019, short, 2013, shortly after we'd returned to the area from a few years living in Pendleton. But my story has changed dramatically in the past year. While living in Pendleton, I attended the Episcopal Church of the Redeemer. The interim priest was Frank Moss. When his interim time was finished and I heard where they had bought their home, I encouraged them to attend St. Gabriel's. They told me they were going to attend several churches in the area before making the decision. But it seemed like whenever I visited St. Gabriel's, Frank and Betsy would be here too. I was visiting on the final stewardship Sunday one year and watched as Frank and Betsy filled out their pledge card and placed it on the altar. I was so happy to see they love this place as much as I do. Father Frank says that St. Gabriel's is a thin place. Thin place is a Celtic term for those rare locales where the distance between heaven and earth collapses. Father Frank knows what a special place we have here at St. Gabriel's, and I think we all know it too. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not your harm, to give you a future and hope with hope, from Jeremiah 29, 11. This year's theme speaks to my heart and my soul, a year ago, I would not have anticipated what God's plan was for me. Being diagnosed last December with multiple myeloma has changed me from taking my life, my health, and blessings for granted to counting my blessings. And some of the blessings in our lives are our four children, our 11 grandchildren, and our five great-grandsons. My new focus is on gratitude for our family, our friends, our faith community, I'm so grateful for St. Gabriel's. I've been blessed this past year with prayers from my, for my health, and they've been palpable. And I also believe they've been answer, answered. God is truly good. Stewardship takes on many forms, time, talent, and treasure. We can give our time serving on a committee, praying, being a reader, or participating in some other ministry. So many have given time in this past year and a half to keep our beloved community together. I can't imagine the amount of time it's taken to bring us from in-person church to Zoom and making it look easy. Our tech team has been amazing and a new ministry was formed, the E-Usher. I'm so grateful for all of you who have contributed your time to make this all happen. We can share our talent, whatever that might be, perhaps as a church school teacher, a youth leader, arranging flowers as an altar guild member, singing in the choir or assisting in the office. St. Gabriel's is a blessed community. We have so many parishioners who give in every way. When there is a need, there is always one or more stepping forward to address it. I'm so grateful for all the behind the scenes people who stepped up when in-person church was closed due to the pandemic. We didn't miss a beat. The tech team had Zoom up and running as though it was the norm. The clergy, the worship team, the music ministry, the tech team, I'm sure it was a logistical nightmare. But for those of us who have been participants, it has, been, it has appeared to be nearly seamless. And then there's treasure, which directly affects the church budget. Giving of our treasure gives our faith community a future with hope. Hope for growing our church. Hope for praying in a new rector to lead us in that growth. Hope for a future of sharing our love and knowledge of our Lord and Savior with a greater community, inviting them to join in worshiping with us. Next Sunday, October 31st, is in Gathering Sunday. We have likely, you have likely received the letter from the Stewardship Committee with your pledge card enclosed, and I'm sure many of you have already returned your pledge card for 2022. If not, please prayerfully consider what you can give to St. Gabriel's so that the budget committee is able to prepare the budget for 2022 that will show our future rector the commitment we all have for this place. Thank you. I heard that at eight o'clock and 
<laughs> is just as powerful at 10 o'clock. Linda, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, and thank you, Michelle, for bringing baby Yoda to church this morning. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just saw him flashing across my screen. Okay, now everyone, if you will join me in proclaiming our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the people are form six. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. In the Anglican cycle of prayer today, we pray for the extra-provincial churches. And in our diocese, we pray for St. Edward Silverton and St. John the, Bat the Divine Springfield. We pray for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, our bishop, Diana Akiyama, and for our clergy, Canon Linda, Father Everett, Deacon Greg, Deacon Tom, and Deacon Roger, and for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. I ask your prayers for those in immediate need of healing. Please join me in praying aloud for those who, who are in, in immediate need of uh, healing prayer by first name in bold for Sally, Bliss, Zoe, Patrick, Ellie, Jenny, Kate, Brent, and Emily, Werner, Ginger, the Stoller and Senate families, Christine, John, Ray, Darlene, Deacon Catherine, Tom, Ed, Jay, Neil, Jenny and John, Chantel, Linda, George, Mary Lou, Carla, and Ellen. Are there others? David. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. We pray for the repose of the soul of Teresa Gonzalez, Jim Loving, Dave Erickson, 
and Joseph Leroy. Are there others? Don Weens. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now the prayer for our search process. Holy One, open our hearts and minds that we may discern your will. Grant us patience and perseverance as we wonder and wait for the one whom you send. We pray for a new rector who will help us embody the deep and unbounded love of Christ that is alive in our parish and community. Help the search committee to listen and respond with wisdom and gratitude each step of the way. Amen. And now let us pray for our search committee. We pray for God's wisdom and guidance for our search committee. Joan, Ginger, Polly, Tom, Tim, Ian, and George. Amen. And I am going to put you all on gallery view so I can see you. Blink. There you all are. Okay, so this morning for birthdays, I have Lyndon, Milo, Abby, Grace, Michael, Jim, Ken, and Linda, who is suspiciously absent. Uh, and I forgave or asked uh, forgiveness at the eight o'clock, and I'll ask here at the 10, my pronunciation, Aislin, I hope if you are here, that I pronounced your name correctly. Um, so are any of those folks here with us this morning? If you are, please unmute yourself and let me know. Okay, is there anyone who is having a birthday who I did not name? Well, then let's pray for our family and friends who are not with us today, but will be celebrating. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discour discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace, which passes understanding, abide all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, David and Denise McMillan, are you here this morning? I don't see you on page. Yeah, here. yep, we're here. Okay. Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay. I see Denise. Uh, David, are you off to the? There you are. There okay. We have to. We I have to see both of you for it to work. <laughs> 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 that's the. That's some sort of canon law. All right, my dear friends. Uh, do you want to tell us how many years you've been in wedded bliss? Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> Congratulations, my dear friends. Uh, let us pray for David and Denise and everyone who is in our congregation and anywhere else they might be who is celebrating an anniversary. <laughs> oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon these, your servants, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 You two were here. Uh, you would be up here at the chancel, and we would do an anointing and a blessing. Um, so I'm sure the Holy Spirit can work through the airwaves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> David and Denise, may this coming year be filled with joy and love and support and companionship. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you both now and forever. Amen. 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 All right. Now, I hope you will all humor me. Um, if you will, please, for the passing of the peace, 
unmute yourselves so that I can hear that glorious cacophony of saying ah. I no, no, love so much. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Thank you all. <laughs> now, oops, and muted. There we go. I appeal to you, friends, by the mercies of God, to present yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship.
The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. We give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and, and a good and joyful to give, thing to give thanks to you, our holy God, source of life and foundation of mercy. You have filled us in all creation with your blessing and fed us with your constant love. You have redeemed us in Jesus Christ and knit us into one body. Through your spirit, you replenish us and call us to fullness of life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the faithful of every generation, we lift up our voices with all creation as we sing. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of the universe and giver of life. You formed us in your own image and called us to dwell in your infinite love. You gave the world into our care that we might be your faithful stewards and show forth your bountiful grace. But we fail to honor your image in one another and in ourselves. We would not see your goodness in the world around us. And so we violated your creation abused one another and rejected your love. Yet you never ceased to care for us and prepare the way of salvation for all people. Through Abraham and Sarah, you called us into covenant with you. You delivered us from slavery, sustained us in the wilderness and raised up prophets to renew your promise of salvation. Then in the fullness of time, you sent your eternal word made mortal flesh in Jesus. Born into the human family and dwelling among us, he revealed your glory. Giving himself freely to death on the cross, he triumphed over evil, opening the way of freedom and life. On the night before he died for us, our Savior, Jesus Christ, took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Remembering his death and resurrection, we now present to you from your creation this bread and this wine. By your Holy Spirit, may they be for us the body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who bring these gifts, <clears throat> grant that we who share these gifts may be filled with the Holy Spirit and live as Christ's body in the world. Bring us into the everlasting heritage of your daughters and sons, that with all your saints, past, present, and yet to come, we may praise your name forever. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen.
And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. My dear friends, you are now invited into a special time of communion as we open our hearts to the abundant grace of Jesus Christ in these times when we cannot be physically present to one another we remember that Christ is always present to us, connecting us one to another in the mystical body of Christ, which knows no bounds of space or time. Oh, 
My dear friends, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Live without fear. Your creator has made you holy, has protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road. And may God's blessing be with you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> All right, my dear friends, uh, you are free to unmute yourselves. No, I, I'm still writing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who didn't I catch before things got started? Uh, Holly, who just wandered in and out of the screen. If I'm going to get our puppy that we're babysitting. I'll show you. Oh, oh wonderful! Yay, puppy. Uh, yeah, puppies cool. and babies and cats. So oh my. Oh my. We're just, we're just here, but they disappeared. There's Carol. Carol, where's my favorite little human being? Oh, he's out shopping with Dad. That's the yeah. right King Charles. That's the right. Hello. Hello, right. Our daughters and son-in-law's dog. Ah. Oh. He's our grand dog. Yes, our grand puppy. <laughs> grand How old is the dog? Three? Yeah, it's about three. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Oh, busy. So, so you guys moved, is that right? We did. Where to? We're in Claremont. Oh, oh Claremont. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very close to the church. I, I, wish, you I wish you still lived here. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> oh, I do too. <laughs> you're close to us too, and you're close to one of our good friends that goes to uh, Romeo's with us. <laughs> oh, good. It's good. Oh, oh small world. Oh, glad we've been watching it. So this is the St. Gabriel hood. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that you downsized. It has grown while we've been yes. there. We, well, Linda, we downsized in size, but upside 
in price. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that's kind of inevitable. Lousy, don't scenario. hire me as an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> that frightens me, Kirk, considering I sit in many financially based. <laughs> 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 It's all okay because we sold our other house for as much more than we listed it as we paid well, for this. House. You know, it's crazy. Oh world. my gosh! Yeah, crazy world. So, so you, had a, you, had a, you had a price. You had a bidding war going on. We did. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. That's Are you on the golf course? Yes, we're on the third hole. So I forever coming by. Oh wow. <laughs> We're at risk uh, for those who slice off the tea. As I say, do you have cocktails on your patio every evening? <laughs> no. Good idea, Everett. We're, yes. we're on, the third hole, uh, on the third hole at sunset, there will be a patio. Stop by for a glass of wine on your way to the third We'll be there. Hole. I, I, I have uh, several friends that I play bridge with in Claremont. Oh, yeah, there's lots of that going around here. Yeah. They're on the other side. No, they're on third. Big bridge group. Not to interrupt the uh, learning all about how beautiful Kirk and. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Polly. What's your name? Polly's house. Polly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make sure to thank <laughs> you again for stepping in this morning and being our deacon at a distance. Um, it is always great to have you with us, Roger. We get to see you every week, but we rarely get to have you as our deacon. So it was wonderful to, to have you with us this morning. As, as Thank you, Roger. Yay. Yay. Right here and there across the street over here. Um, let's bring you the Montana oh. sunshine. Montana okay. sunshine. Yeah. Uh, that's uh well anyway i'm not going to talk about weather here and and thank you linda for your your oh, beautiful yes, linda, uh, for your, yeah, it was great very nice linda thank you thank you holly and kirk are you on st andrews road we are not we're on canterwood oh okay all right y'all um so i have a little girl who would like to make her first ever cub scout announcement <gasps> oh okay. do it. she's a little bit nervous so i'm just like Telling you. So here, stand up. You can show your uniform. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, what do you doing? What, what, what? And seven, seven, eighteen, pack seven, eighteen. And where is that? What school is that? Finley <laughs> School. And what are you guys These and like this. Oh, Reese. Reese, oh. okay. Silly, right? Yeah, we will deliver these to you. <laughs> we'll deliver them right after Thanksgiving. So if anyone's interested, I will hold it up again. Yeah, hold it up again. Yeah. Reese, okay. Now. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not, that's, that's a very good price, by the way, everyone. Yeah. $5 for a mixed evergreen wreath. I think you should probably get lots of orders from this wonderful congregation at that price. <laughs> so uh, how do we, how do we put in an order for a wreath? They can text mom. They can text mom. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Right, everyone, text mom for uh, <laughs> your Christmas wreath. Uh, that is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And I love the outfit. I was a Cub Scout and I was a wee below. Um, I don't know if they still call them that. Um, and Deacon Greg, when he's here, he was an Eagle Scout. He went all the way up. So there are a lot of Cub Scouts floating around here. So that is amazing. Thank you so much. And I was a den mother for the Scouts, Cub Scouts. Uh, so was my mom. She was a dead mother too. Right? So was I. <laughs> See, we're all, we're surrounded by scouting. Um, all right, everyone. I'm going to leave. You. Oh, look! I'm going to leave you because my mom and is having her birthday, and my brother is visiting, and she wants a family photograph. And I left the house at six o'clock, so I didn't. Have <laughs> I got a text in between services where she reminded me that I had not escaped because she wasn't letting my brother leave until I got home. So wonderful to see you all. I look forward to seeing many of you in person next Sunday. Uh, have a wonderful week. Be safe. Be happy. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. 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 Have a great week, everyone. Helen, can you take those forms to the church? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Would that be okay. helpful? Yes. yes. Next week. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we All have right. to turn in the order form um, next Sunday, but that is the mm -hmm. deadline. So that would work. Wow. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it up. Bye, guys.